hope y'all we here are gonna have another guest that come on here and talk about the latest battle that dropped for the three versus three online fam tournament. Um, this is the Lord Break fam versus the old Rocket fam. So this is technically um, Venezuela versus Taiwan. I mean, it was a dope battle. Um, the, the the judges judges card was uh, posted, so you guys should know our judgment. What's up? What's up, Quake? What's up, you in the building? Francis just hopped on here just to see uh, her man talk. She's not even here to support her big homie. But it's all good. You know, it's all good. We'll get him on here. One second, y'all. I'm here for Susie, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo. We saw Seven watching about. What's up, Brim? What's popping with it? What's going on? And my wife got you on here just to uh, tell you what, um, so you can tell us what you think on the latest district battle, uh, the 3 vs. 3 online fan battle, Lord Break fan vs. Old Rocket fan. Um, yeah. Did you have a chance to look at the uh, judges' card? I didn't. I didn't look at the judges' okay. card. So the judge, let me break down the judges' card. I'll show you that. Um, and because I always like to explain, also my judgment and how I got that. So we have. So just so people see, they can see it. So my judgment is at the top, and then you have Psycho, and then you have V Buck. So with these battles, uh, the first battle, Baby Lord Break versus. Boyo Rocket, mm. I gave it to Baby Lord Break. We'll go over that um, just to let you know. So, I, I, Kid Lord Break versus Little Rocket, I gave it a tie. And then the last one, it was still close to me, but I gave it to O Rocket. And then everybody else gave it to everybody went for a Baby Lord Break. And then B Buck and Psycho chose O Rocket, and they both chose the Little O Rocket as well. So, that goes on to the O Rocket fam. But yeah, we want to see what you think. I don't know if you want to um, also watch the battle as we talk about it. Or oh, we wanna... definitely we can. We, we definitely can. Let's do that. Sure. Okay. That's a battle word. For, I like I like that whole battle all together. Anyways. Okay. Okay. Let me let me put it. Let me hook it up to the screen. Yeah, vision. Yeah. So I was gonna switch all these lives. I've been having uh, different do rags. I mean, do rags, bandanas. But today I got the. <laughs> I got the, you know what I'm saying? Got the, man, look. The sway guy. So let me go ahead and get this three-way pop in. So we got, Brim, you from, you in, you're not from Arizona. You in Arizona, though, yeah? Right. So where you from? Where, where did your crump start? So Little Rock, Arkansas, south side, where I started from. Uh, from there, that's where I, that's where everything started taking off for me, so. And I've lived, I've lived on the east and now the west. So I pretty much got a good taste of how um, what Crump is, the atmosphere that Crump is, and the other different regions. So very tight, definitely tight. Okay. For sure, you got some experience in there. So oh yeah, it. definitely, definitely. Heck yeah, I definitely found my bounce in the west. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I've been taking the beach camp workshops. That's how you do I it. Have. <laughs> it still ain't tight. No, I'm just kidding. No, um, <laughs> listen, listen. We got two more weeks. Let me, let me. Hey, I got some surprises. Here, here we go. Hold on. So let's get into it. We're gonna start with baby little break. Yeah, I like, I like bro. Right? I like, I love bro. Right? Actually, oh, shit. He started up with some nice, some nice neck work. <laughs> <laughs> this track crazy too that he went to.
I need a pause for y'all. Hold on. We had a pause for a second. Hold on. Let me turn it up. Start that over. Yeah, there we go. That's like crazy. I need that track. One of them exclusives. Man. He was in a nice pocket the whole time. It's a blow for me. <laughs> <laughs> he has been taking my, my workshop, just to let y'all know. Aye, yeah. Uh... Yep. Woo! That was crazy. He picked a good beat for him. You know, that's... The matchup with what he got is a good display. Mm. He's technical, but he has a little bit of rawness to him, which keeps it in the element that of crime. That was nasty. I like that. That was crazy. Uh. So he sure he gave a lot. Uh huh. Use some, use some hops in there. Not everybody. Yeah. Uses yeah. hops. <laughs> he wanna do people don't work out no more. I have no idea yeah. why. It just it's hard to implement with with the amount of energy people are trying to put in and don't control. Oh uh, yeah, you know what? I think the, his the camera took away from his round. Ah uh, yeah, I agree. It was a lot the of movement and stuff. Yeah. He he had the swag though. He oh yeah, he definitely swag. I was he had me. He had me for sure. I kinda think that's what majority of the O Rocket fam had over the Lord Bragg fam is the character and the kind of the, the whole swag about them. But not swag alone was just enough. Ooh. He was in there, but he just wasn't giving nothing to seal the deal. Like it was just I'm here. I'm just doing this just because I'm. Yeah. Yes. With the type of character he has, you you would imagine this would be just easy for him. That but combo could have been some way crazier. That he didn't combo. commit. He didn't commit to it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's, hey, it's that one. This that one. <laughs> so that battle, um, yeah, I gave it to. Uh, baby Lord break on that one. He just had too much to offer. You know what I'm saying? That even though skill levels do matter, but it still matters how you perform within the battle. If you're performing at your skill level or not, it matters. If you're at a certain skill level and don't perform against the person you're battling, it could cost you. And I think that's what happened here. Yeah, that's most definitely for sure. So who, who do you give it to in this battle? Um, the the Lord break guy. Baby Lord Bray. It's like, I think it's um, the it's guy from like uh, anime. Uh, I think it was from Beerus or something. Yeah. I, I forget. He broke his story down on the, the district. Crazy. Cool. Let crazy. Me... Let's go to this next battle. Yeah, I think he was nice because he was really, woo, he was really building it up. Yeah, that's what ah, I like my gosh. Woo. Ah. The body control. We like those. Yeah. Woo. He was banging out with it. Yeah, he was. Oh, nuts. I like that character. He, 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 Oh, see the best thing his his material and his moves match his get off, and that's the I think the problem with the uh, last battle with the boy O Rocket, his material didn't match his get off. Right. Black Woo. musicality. Woo. Hey. He was keeping the buck with the dad hat. 
Now, see the thing about this oh. guy. Mm. He ha he already looks buck and he has the experience. But the same thing for me, um, he didn't take advantage of his experience too much. Because mm -hmm. he already looks buck. Look at him. Man, like he definitely he already tapped into me a little bit. The character, the beanie down, you get what I'm saying? But what he was offering wasn't also too heavy, you get what I'm saying? But it was just enough to match up. This is why I gave it a tie because what he did matters, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he didn't punch hard enough to seal the deal. You get what I'm saying? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Woo! He's bucked though. Yeah, he definitely is bucked. That angle? Yeah. Angle take away again is still this camera moving around. We can't really live in what he's doing because the camera, it's not a concept video. So it definitely takes away. Definitely, yeah, for sure. That's different. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, his butt is up there. Eesh. So that one, man, yeah. For me, yeah, it was it was, it was close. Uh, for me, that's why my judgment, I gave it a tie. Because yeah. what's his name was really Buck. He was Buck, but he just didn't give us nothing. He, he just didn't, you know? Right, it's like, like people have preferences when they look at battles. More people, like, more people looking for the Buck, more people looking for the material, the kill offs. I just like it's just what your preference really is. With, with this battle, me being a material head, I liked uh, the uh, the Lord, the Lord guy, the first guy. Kid, kid Lord break, oh baby Lord break, Lord break, because he had his flow from his from his good out to his material. It was just yeah, build up was just there. And when him, but, he was all buck and just like all that bug, I was like, dang, if you just have one one piece of good solid material, that just, at least yeah. But little people know, even if you're going raw, it's still that type of material. Right. If it's not technical material, there's raw material, there's power moves, there's all this other stuff that will match your get off. So it doesn't, just because you're going raw doesn't mean you don't have to have it. Exactly. Um, and, you're, and you're in a battle, so you have to deliver um, like you're trying to win. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And if it's just pure get off, you have to have a variety of changing up your get off, doing things, you'll still have material. Love that. Uh, yeah, but that lack there, that lack there a little bit for that is that why I gave it a uh, that that tie because he could have took it. He definitely could have. He had to, he had the demeanor and all that. I thought he was gonna take it. I thought he. But Kid Lord Break had that that determination is what really brought him up there. For sure, for sure. he was fighting for it. <laughs> he, he was red. That's he's the one that's really fighting for representing his family. You get what I'm saying? That. Put, put it on the map because like wherever we dance at we want to be noticed as our best so that's what i got from watching that his rap you know most definitely we're gonna, go we gonna go on to the big homies oh yeah kong <laughs> lao <laughs> Ah, yep. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Ah, come on. He's going crazy. He's going crazy. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That was nuts. That was tight as crap. That was nuts. The only takeaway from his, his uh, round is that he was mainly dancing in one spot. Yeah, yeah, most definitely.
He had a lot of control, um, but he lacked uh, versus his, his opponent. He had lacked uh, traveling. Fo- uh, yeah, traveling because he has footwork. Yeah, he lacked sure. traveling and he lacked character. It wasn't as strong as his opponent. All that, but he was doing a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he did a whole lot. Jesus, oh, this is the guy with the kids in the background. I yeah. like. <laughs> He brought the kids. He's like, we have, to, we have to win. But he came out heavy. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. His character emphasized on his power. Ugh. And the way he snaps into it. Uh. Wow. Woo! Jesus. Woo! Using that. Oh, boom. Concept. His level. Ah. Little buck walk, see stuff like oh. that. The way he's using his levels, he has a little variety. Mm-hmm. Uh, boom. Woo. Ah. Uh. Yep. Woo. What's really tight about that is, uh, it's hard for a lot of people to, to, to really feel their self or be buck in a certain atmosphere, but he had the little kids in the background and he right. didn't make him soft at all. He got off. Like you know what uh, like- Luke Kane, Luke Kane was dope. Um, Luke Kane brought a lot. You know what I'm saying? He had a variety. It's just, I think his delivery could have been, this execution wasn't there because he was so consistent in his flow. He was giving and giving and giving. He didn't have time to like, boom, bam, this is what I'm giving. Right. And boom, bam, this is what I'm giving. He didn't have the character to match or break the in-betweens of his material, which kind of, I, I thought that battle was also a little bit close, but what brought for me O Rocket above is because the way he delivered and then the way he was executing and stuff, basically the yeah. same thing. And his character, yeah. his character made the thing stand out. The kids too. <laughs> and the kids, <laughs> the point the kids support. <laughs> And that was, that was super tight. I mean, if Luke Kane, Lord Break, I'm calling him Luke Kane because his hair did. If Luke Kane, <laughs> you know, had the band, now it's just, yeah, and it's nothing odd because I've I've seen uh, Lord Break dance um, a couple of times. Uh, again, they uh, I gave him workshops for Taiwan. Um, what he can do is capabilities. He's capable of a lot of stuff. It's just what he chooses to present, what he chooses to present in the battle of that round. Right, right. Uh, yeah. Um, and he could have did a lot of different things. Like his energy, like he's great at dancing live too. Like he had a lot of control there, which was good, but he's very good at, like, at a high level and still getting off and looking clean and having precision, which is one of his strengths as well. But I know he was like working on many things. and try, You know, when you try to be the best you can be, you work on a lot. You know what I'm saying? It takes time to actually, you know, get used to it all. It does. But he, he is a great, I think it was all in all a great battle. Two great fans. Yeah, most definitely two great fans. Definitely, for sure. I think the most, uh, I wouldn't say controversial battle, but the most, uh, <laughs> um, I think uh, just out of the whole district battles right now is uh, Little Street Eater versus Jay Guns. But that was the talk me and Dread had. That was the first one. But I, I don't know oh. if you've seen that battle before, but it was Street Eater fan versus Guns fan, but that was, they was going off there too. But yeah, definitely a uh, shout out to the Lord Break fam, and shout out to the Old Rocket fam, the whole Venezuela and the whole Taiwan, because they are the ones representing for their community and doing the best they can for their crumb community. So, uh, trying to also support them and give them much love as we can. Most definitely, most definitely. Man, man, y'all got how many more battles? I got this. Um, th- this uh, if you only see one, there's probably like uh, I think there's been four or five. I have one more, I'm dropping tomorrow, and I'll be the last one. Woo. And it's round two. Jesus. This is bug. <laughs> this is bug. This is tight. Super tight. The, the, the main one I was surprised about was the one I talked about with Little Ruin was, um, well, I've seen them as well. Uh, they took one of my workshops to Brazil. Brazil took Riot Fam over in they Brazil took it. And we were like, dang. Didn't expect it, but they pulled, they pulled it through. Dang. The, you said what? I said, dang. Yeah. People is working out here, man. Jeez. It make you make you make you think that listen. Maybe maybe we take 
come over here different than what they do overseas because I know we just everybody's so used to just uh, oh well us being the US we can just look online and do stuff we don't know they can do it overseas so I know that hunger is kind of you know and then some of them the thing is like um I know Crump mainly was built off of the cause of poverty you know what I'm saying what people were going through but realize other people eat even in, in Venezuela when I was teaching the class you know some people didn't have the capability of Wi-Fi you know some people were just willing to be a part of class and just listen or if we can't record, can you tell me or break down? Or can we tell the next person like what we learned? And it was like, they're that passionate and hungry for it. To like, we can we be a part of it the best way we can? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, perfect. And they, they take it and, 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 and apply it the best way they can. So it's like, yeah, yeah, man. So they still have the, the, the idea of the essence of it and the fight. So yeah, the spirits are up over there. You know what I'm saying? That's super tight. I can't wait to see more from them, man, for sure. No, definitely. But that's uh, mainly it. We don't want to give you too much uh, camera time. We want to. I'm already starting to turn light skin back. <laughs> as soon as you was rubbing your hands. Good. Nah, but we appreciate you, Brims, for coming on and giving your word for the, on the district battles. Um, yeah, hopefully we can have you on here next time to do something, speak about something. But sure. yeah, that's it for now. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for having me, bro. Thank you for this platform, too. I know everybody needs to be extremely grateful that you're doing this bro because this takes a lot of work and effort so congrats to you bro on your house of sex man for sure no oh, thank you that see that makes me want to get light skin ah, yeah. no, <laughs> yeah. no I appreciate that man whatever helps influence and grow the community definitely, definitely. Bro. make sure you join that crusher tournament and we out oh,